waterproofing on Tech Tuesday. to another RC in motion video today we are bringing you waterproofing and why are we bringing you waterproofing well because this wasn't waterproof and I kind of fell into water with my truck and <laughs> it stopped working but we are not risking that again we are going to waterproof it in today's video I'm going to show you the different methods you can use to waterproof your receiver and or your Yes, see, let's uh, talk about different methods of um, waterproofing. So the first one commonly known is uh, liquid tape, right? Liquid tape is real easy to use. It's uh, obviously a liquid form. Plasti dip, that's one that's known around uh, either the uh, spray can or rattle can. You can do several coats of that. Rust-Oleum Never Wet, it comes in a two-step um, base and um, you just spray it over your electronics and pretty much uh, has some like little nano micro technology that dissipates the water instead of catching the electronics. These are all the several ways. There's another thing called uh, Corrosion X where you dip your electronics and it does like a nice little clear coat, pretty much like um, Never Wet. When selecting the proper waterproof method you have to take into consideration that electronics will heat up or overheat at times or they'll they'll some type of heat will be produced to those electronics now in a receiver not so much in an electronic speed controller depending on the um, the size like this one they use these uh, these heat fins which will dissipate the heat but at times these heat fins don't work depending on the motor you are running or the the style of car or truck you're using it on. So because of that, we can't use something like liquid tape or plastic because it'll retain the heat a lot. So for my ESCs, my electronic speed controllers, I use Neverwet. I've showed you guys this in a previous video about two years ago on my uh, Castle Creations. Uh, Mama Max Pro ESC, which still today has the coat and there has been no reapply and I would recommend this this to any electronic speed controller. If you are willing to keep your <laughs> electronic speed controller, go ahead with this one. This retains a lot of heat and if we're running a lot of power, I don't think this is the great, the best method or this but there's a thing where it's called a uh, conformal coating now with a conformal coating you can just coat out the outside or wherever there's exposed electronics and that way the water doesn't come in much in like a uh, let me show you here uh, for example a servo let's just take this servo winch if we were to take the servo just uh, imagine this hole is in here and we just Wrap around a coat here of um, the liquid tape. Some at the bottom, we open it up. Some at the bottom edge, and then right here at the uh, at the top where this uh, horn goes. And that's a conformal coating. That's just covering any entrances where water can seep into your electronics. That's a conformal coating. But here at RCM Motion, we hardly do any conformal coating. I think I did it once. But today, we are going to waterproof this, and if we open it here, So now what we do is, uh, I, what I want to do is keep this antenna sideways, that way it doesn't move, so I can cover the max amount, okay? These pins, you don't have to worry about the pins because they're going to be covered. Let me show you here. Once you cover it with this plastic part, you don't have to worry because it makes a perfect seal and the pins are not, they're, they're not going to have any issues when it comes to functionality so let's uh, pinch this on here you can pinch it on there and now we can turn it sideways 
and let's start coating it. So there it is, fully waterproof. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see. Okay, and as you can see, it is fully waterproof. Now what I like to do, um, if I can't get through these little gaps, I'll just take a little piece of like Lexan, like right here. I'll just put a glob over here and I'll just spread it around until we can get to every little surface. And then just let it dry and then it should be dry within two to four hours is what the instructions say on that, um, on that uh, liquid tape. So this was a way I found to waterproof my electronics and not have a heart attack every time you get stuck in water. So here it is guys. I hope you guys learned something today. Remember these are the products that you can use and they are sold anywhere actually wherever uh, whatever hardware store they sell those there too. So stay tuned for the next videos and thank you guys for tuning in to the next one.